fire before and it just didn't want to start. You just start throwing a little oxygen on it to get it going. And that's what this fan is here for. This was built before electricity in rural areas. So they had to get come up with something to blow the air efficiently. you to know the most three dangerous things there is in the world. All natural. Can y'all think of three dangerous things? Yes. Fire. Fire. Great. Uh, anybody else? Water. Water. One more. Wind or What you say? Wind or earth. Natural like disasters like earthquakes. Wind, fire, and water. Water and wind. How many of you have experienced the hair? We're still trying to over the hair, aren't we? A lot of stuff. Uh, fires. How many of you have heard fires that are out of What's burn all year in California? And up on the west coast, Oregon, um, fire is destroyed thousands and thousands of acres. Homes, one right after the other. So, it's, uh, if we remember the most three dangerous things in the world, but we can't live without any of them. Did y'all know that? We've got to have fire for what? Yeah. 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 Where does food come from? Cooking. Okay, what about water? How many of you got a bottle of water with you? Can't live without water, can we? What about wind? Air. You breathe in. So, that is very, very important. So, we got to control. Okay, let's see what we got here. Association, and uh, it's very active. I think there's 400 members in it. 
give or take a few. Uh, and we teach blacksmith classes here uh, in the winter time, I think. First of December we start. And you see these extra forges we set up and, and uh, give a day's class. And if y'all want to know more about it, go on our website. Kids, when I was growing up, there were several blacksmiths around. Usually, there's one in each community because uh, uh, if people need stuff made out of iron uh, and to build to fill the function that they need. And uh, after World War II, it began to phase out because they had machines come up with machines during the war, put a piece of metal in, and they stamp it and come out, one right after the other. Uh, mass production. And it fell dormant for many years, and then all of a sudden, um, interest started again, and this evolved now to this pretty nice Side national organization. People want stuff that is handmade. And uh, if you can pay a little extra to do that. Okay, any questions? Raise hands. Yes. How long are you going to that's pretty much over. No. How long what? How long would it take to move like a hammer? A hammer? It takes a while. It takes a while to a make a, a knife. Uh, and uh, a lot of you are thinking about swords. Y'all know about samurai swords? The boys do anyway. You know how long it takes them? To build a samurai? It's taken them a year to build one show. Uh, so it's a, it's a very slow way of building stuff. Okay, we have a scoop picture here. Okay. I'll pass it around and you grab it as it comes back there. Okay. Um, each one of you look at it. If you have questions, um, see if I can answer it. What do y'all like about a field trip? Anybody? Yes. Now you don't have to talk up. I'm old and hard to hear. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Seems like the first time I'm learning new stuff. Great. Um, some of this stuff will not last very long, but uh, the, I want y'all to think about when you get home, what you have learned here today that's important that you would like to carry with you the rest of your life. Um, one of the things that we do here and try to pass it on is help each other. We're getting to the point in our life now that nobody helps each other. And back then, when I was a kid, you had to help each other to survive. Um, there were no tractors in this area. There was mules. And if you lost a mule, you really had lost your way to make a living. Uh, there was no money hard to, to speak of. When the people farmed around here with their mules, they raised enough grain to feed their mules, feed their cows, 
and feed their hogs. Uh, and what do you do with all them things? Why are they important? Why is a mule important? Why is a mule important? He, he pulled the plows to make crops. What else do you think was important? It's the way of transportation. Somebody help me, I think. Transportation? Yeah. See, my family never owned a car. We went with mule and wagon where we went. So your trip was not very long. Just think how long it would take to go to Panama City and the mule and wagon. Instead of an hour. Um, I, it was important. Uh, they would take a week or a week and a half to go to Saint, Port St. Joe to go down there to make salt. And they carried an iron pot with them and they would put the salt water in this pot and the kids would gather firewood uh, right off the bat to build a fire under the pot and they would start boiling that water to uh, and make the water leave and the salt no, no. would stay. So they kept that fire going the whole time they were down there. They keep that in for the pot. The water would leave and the salt would stay. So when on the way back home, they would have a cloth sack they would hang on the side of the wagon with their salt in it. And they would carry down to up to the Port St. Joe sweet potatoes, uh, cured ham, bacon, and they would swap it for salt and oil and bring back because all those things would keep for a while without refrigeration. You did not have to go to the Life wasn't easy. Any, any questions? I'm, I'm rambling. I thank you all so much for coming and uh, Pick out one thing that you learned today that's important that you must have for the rest of your life. One thing I want to quick tell you, and then I'll let you go. I, I started on telling you about people helping each other. Our neighbor, a lightning struck the barn for the mule and milk cow. And he burned the barn down where he had his corn, killed his mule, killed his milk cow. So, my daddy really felt bad about that, so he got on the old mule, and uh, he spent about a week riding from home to home and telling people about the incident. And he collected $50 that week to help the man get another mule and help him get back on his feet. And the man, when he steered it to him, he broke down and cried because he was at the end of the rope. He didn't know what he was going to do. So there again, helping each other a little bit means a lot. So help people as you go along. And it'll come back to you tenfold. Y'all you know what tenfold is? Ten times more than you give. And thank you all so much for coming. Remember one thing today that you learned you're going to keep. Thank y'all. Thank you. Have y'all rang the bell? Thank you. 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 Thank you.